Okay, but we need to talk about it. The difference between bare lace and air tied wigs because there's definitely a difference okay <laughs> so let's get into it my name is nini welcome to or welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be talking to you guys about the differences between bare lace wigs which is a new type of synthetic wig by sensational i am wearing one right now and then we're going to compare it to the air tied wigs which is a new type of wig by the company outre if you guys are interested in this wig or the air tied wig that i'm going to be talking about i will link them both with my original review and update in the description of this video i have tried the air tied and the bare lace wigs i've tried them more than once and I have some things that I think is important for you to know if you're gonna be trying these wigs or if you're just interested. The first thing is y'all, I feel like both of these wigs have really good lace. I do wanna say that, but one is definitely thinner than the other. And in my opinion, the Outre Airtide lace is more transparent. It's more transparent in my opinion. They're both pretty transparent. Like if you're really looking for that thin, just like, very close to human hair type quality lace. I feel like these are both really good options, but let's not play no games. <laughs> that air tied wig is no joke. It is very, very transparent. And when I tried it the first time, I don't remember what type of cap I wore, but you could definitely see it through the lace like clearly and I wasn't like ashamed of her or anything because girl whatever I had never tried it before but the thing is I really wasn't expecting that like okay yes yeah, that air tied girl they all say different things but I didn't know it was going to be given what it was given like I didn't know it was really going to be like giving transparent and it was giving transparent the next difference between the bare lace and the air tied wigs is that with the bare lace wig now this is going to vary based on which one you try. I tried bare lace unit four. I tried bare lace unit four and then the Outre air tied wig was the Dominican curly. There are two different types of um, textures and whatnot. I will say in my experience with the wigs that I tried, I definitely feel like the air tied may last a little bit longer in terms of shedding and tangling. If you or somebody you know has ever thought about becoming a hair influencer, then this is for you. I've been a hair influencer for some years now and I created a guide to teach you how to do it too. Even if you're not interested in hair influencing specifically, being a content creator has opened so many doors for me and is a great opportunity. And with my teaching background, I've developed guides to help you in areas such as content creation, specific social media platforms like TikTok, as well as how to review products like I do. There are so many streams of income possibilities with being a content creator, and the key is to learn how to make the content. You can gain access to more information on all of my guides and ebook sources through my website. The link is in the description or visit anotherqueenstreasure.com. This is the bare lace wig and I just filmed an update on it and some things that I noticed, if y'all didn't watch the update, definitely go watch it. It's linked in the description. But this was already giving me some tangles on the end and I really haven't worn this much at all. I haven't even worn this out. And yeah, now it's synthetic. It's long, I'm not disappointed. I don't feel like, oh my gosh, it's, you know, it's fine, but I really didn't have like those type of issues with the air tied wig. And this is a body wave unit almost to my waist. The air tied wig is a curling unit and it's not as long, it's still long. So those things probably come into play when I'm talking about the shedding and the tangling, but I did receive more shedding and tangling with the bare lace wig. So do with that what you please. So initially I talked to you guys about the air tied wig being more transparent in the lace. If you're a person who doesn't really do the ball cap method and things like that, like really laying it down and gluing it down, then you might like the bare lace wig better in my opinion. I'm wearing it now and I did not do a bald cap method. I don't really do that that often y'all. I just have a, I actually have two wig caps on because I put the wrong, I put a lighter color wig cap on and then I remembered you're gonna be able to see it through. Like you, I was able to see the lighter cap through this lace. I was able to see it more through the air tied wig. But then when I remembered, I went and put a darker brown 
cap on top of it and I feel like you can get away with that and it not look super like I see your wig cap. <laughs> somebody else who's like really into the ball cap method like you really get into the gluing down of wigs then you could probably wear both but if you're like me and you don't really like do that that often you just put a little bit of glue here and there like I don't even have my ear tabs glued down because <laughs> I'm just not doing that right now and I don't do it all the time I would go with the bare lace wig I feel like it's closer to beginner friendly and I don't think really either of them are beginner friendly like I don't really think either of them are like super beginner wigs at all but if you want something a little bit less if you want something that you can do a little bit less with and it look you know okay I would go with the bare lace. Another difference between the two that kind of goes along with me saying that I feel like the lace is more transparent with the air tied wig is that I feel like the lace is also thinner with the air tied wig. I feel like you can feel the difference and I feel like when I was installing it and I felt the lace, I was like, oh, okay. Like, okay, I, 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 I'm, I'm understanding what you was trying to tell me on the stock card. That's how I feel. That's how I felt. Like, I really felt a difference in like more so traditional synthetic lace, which I had been dealing with lately and then the air tied lace it feels thinner in my opinion so you guys those are my opinions on the difference between the bare lace wigs and the air tied wigs let me know in the comments what you guys think and like i said i'll have the link to the information in the review and to buy these on amazon if you're interested in the description of this video thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video very very soon bye